I hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to label feature in ArcGIS. So as you can see on the uh, display, this is nothing but my study area. And you can see a lot of subdivisions which has been available. So let's see how to label the feature in ArcGIS. So let me open the attribute table and show you. So you can see here, these are the fields which are available. And uh, in order to label any features, uh, we must have some information about the feature. Here you can see uh, the taluk name has been given. You can see the length and area. So these are the informations. If you wish, uh, you could add some more information in the fields. And if you want, you can uh, select the fields accordingly and display it. In this case, I am going to use this field, th name, to display the labels for my study area. So I am going to use this field. So that will be a way of communication that uh, this place is called as uh, X. This place is called as Y. Or you can just show this place is having this much of population uh, using the label. So once again right click on this layer and you can see the option properties. So once it has been loaded, generally it uh, it used to be uh, in this in this uh, place general or somewhere here. Uh, we have to navigate to the option labels, and you can see the option over here, label field. Here you need to choose the fields which you are interested in. So for example, you might be having population, so you need to show the population as a label. So we we have to select the appropriate field for that. So that is what I am trying to uh, convey. So here in this case, I am going to use this th name. That is nothing but taluk name. So I am going to use this uh, information to display on the feature. And after selecting the field which we are interested in, you can see the text symbols over here. Here, uh, you can just uh, directly uh, type in here. If you want, you can just uh, type di directly click here and type Calibric. So the Calibric will be appearing here. Times New Roman, you can see. So likewise, you can just uh, choose accordingly. Here you can increase the uh, size of the character. That is uh, the label. So here, if you want, you can just uh, go up to 72. And here I'm going to use the 7 as the size and you can use bold italic underline options also so let me apply it and give ok so now you can see here nothing has been updated in the display so why it is so once again we need to right click on this uh, shape file and you can find the option called as label features we have to enable this one and after that you can see there is an update and now you can see that the subdivision has been uh, given some uh, labels so this is nothing but it's uh, the taluk name of the subdivisions. Once again, now go to the option properties. Here you can uh, do some more customization. For example, you can find, you can click on the option symbols. And uh, you can just see here, a lot of uh, font style is available. You can choose appropriate, which, uh, whichever uh, style you are uh, interested in. You can choose it accordingly. Here in this case, I'm going to use this font. You can also customize the color. If you, you can just change the colors. You can keep it as red or black, whatever you are interested in. And let me uh, reduce the size to seven. If you want, you can use the strike underline option too. So let us click OK. Now let me apply it. And you can see it has been updated. So now we go uh, move on to the next option. You can see other options, placement op uh, properties. Here you can uh, see there are a few options are available. And you can see here, this is the, uh, the placement where you can uh, uh, place the labels horizontally or you can use the option straight. Let me show you the difference. First, I'm going to select horizontal and click OK. Let me apply it. And you can see horizontally how it looks like. And once again, we just move back and go to the option 
placement properties here I'm going to use straight now let us apply it and you can just see the difference how the label has been updated here you can also use uh, both of these uh, options try horizontal first and then strike accordingly you can choose and you can also use this option place uh, uh, only place labels inside the polygon okay now it is uh, already enabled for me now let me uh, disable it and let, uh, let me click it and apply you can just see here here the label is uh, outside the polygon likewise you can just see if you don't need it you can use this option only place label inside the polygon automatically this will be removed so you can see another option duplicate labels remove duplicate labels place one label per feature place one label per feature part so here if you want you can just remove the duplicate labels so sometimes you might be having a uh, uh, two names in a single uh, uh, part of the uh, layer so uh, if you find any duplicates table you can use this option to remove the duplicates table in some cases uh, you might have seen that the uh, region is region might be very very smaller so in that case uh, if you want even uh, even uh, use this option uh, because uh, there might be an area which is bigger and uh, there might be an area smaller smaller area uh, and it is uh, coming under a single region but uh, because of the it has been uh, having uh, two different uh, locations the uh, labels might be overlapped it is may, it might be showing one or the other like like problems might be there uh, at that time you can use this option place one uh, uh, label per feature you can use this uh, this option also place one label per feature part so that is also uh, beneficiary so let me click ok and now you can see here so likewise you can uh, label the features in ArcGIS if you have any doubts please do ask in the comment section thanks for watching GIS Metros please do subscribe the channel